Hey, what's up everybody, Too Tall Toby here, and in today's On Shape step-by-step -step tutorial, we're gonna take a look at a relatively simple part. In fact, this is a tier one level complexity part, which is the lowest level of complexity that we offer on the Too Tall Toby Practice Models app. But even though this is just a tier one level part, there's still some really good lessons and shortcuts we can learn here, including how to create double dimensions when we're doing a revolve, how to quickly transition from a line to an arc and then back to a line, and also whether or not we should include our fillets at the sketch level or at the feature level. So let's get into it here with this tier one challenge. We'll start by going to twotalltoby.com and then we'll click here to get started with free practice models. And here we can see we've got a repository of over 120 2D to 3D CAD challenges for users working with any 3D CAD system. Now there's about 20 challenges in here that are totally free for anyone with a free Too Tall Toby user account. And then if you really like the app and you wanna do more, you can sign up for our premium members access, which will unlock the entire library. Well, one of these totally free challenges is down here at the bottom, 25-01, 03. So let's click here to practice and we can see here that 48 people have completed this challenge so far. So let's see if we can successfully become number 49. We're going to click here to begin and go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? We're gonna to try to figure that out and we're gonna enter that mass down here in this block. So we can see that this model is made from plain carbon steel, has a density of 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. And so now before we actually get started in the 3D CAD, let's just come up with a basic game plan for this challenge. So we can see here that this model would probably be created as a revolve. We can see here that from this view, looking at the section view here, we've really got all the dimensions we need to take this thing and turn it into a revolve shape. So I think our first sketch is gonna look something like this. Come up and around here, down and over to here. And then we'll take that shape and we'll spin it around this central axis. And that'll create what's called a revolved feature. Now, the question is, should we include these radius six dimensions here in the sketch? Or should we save them and just do that as a feature? And this kind of depends from one scenario to the next. But what I like to ask myself is, will those fillets make the sketch unnecessarily complicated? You know, when you add a fillet in a sketch, you're adding a tangency relationship and then another tangency relationship. And sometimes that can make it difficult and just kind of make the sketch overly cumbersome. So as a general practice, as kind of a de facto state, I like to save my fillets for the feature level. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with this model today. So now that we've got our basic game plan in place, let's take this 2D drawing and move it over to our second screen. And let's bring up our mouse and our keyboard. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this shape here and uh, make it a little bit bigger with that section view because that's really the majority of the dimensions and the information we need for this challenge. So this looks like it's a cup. It's got a little, almost like a little pocket there on the bottom. And let's take this geometry and turn it into a 3D model here in on shape. So I'm gonna go into on shape here. I'm gonna choose create and I'm gonna choose to create a new document and I'll call this 25-01-03 camping cup, little stainless steel camping cup here. And now we're gonna go to the front plane S key, begin a new sketch, and I'm gonna press N to get normal too. And now, just like we talked about in the game plan, I'm gonna start out by pressing S and going into the line command. And I'm gonna create a line here that starts out a little above the origin. Gonna come over this way, kind of come down at an angle, come over this way. And now I get to decide if I'm gonna include the fillet here in this sketch or not. Well, I'm gonna choose not to include the fillet here in this sketch. So I'm just gonna kind of come up in this vertical direction. I'm gonna single click. I'm gonna move my mouse away from that end point and then I'm going to move my mouse back to that end point and then I'm going to come up and away from that end point again and come up and around and this is going to turn this from a line into an arc so you just put your mouse over the end point now I'm in a line command just put your mouse over the end point and come away now I'm in a tangent arc command and that's a great workflow to learn about in on shape it'll really save you a lot of time here I'm going to use the mouse to zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to make sure that as I'm making this arc I end up right at 180 degrees so click there to drop that point in place, come down here kind of down towards the bottom, come over 
and close off this sketch. And there we go. We've matched our game plan. We've created this kind of first sketch shape here to begin with. Now I'm going to create one final entity on this sketch, and that's going to be a construction line. So I'm going to click on this point here, move away, press Q to turn that line into a construction line. And then I'm going to just drop that as a vertical construction line. And what this lets me do, this is kind of cool, is if I press escape and then I press S key and jump into the dimension command, I can create a dimension that goes from this vertical line here to that construction line and then I can cross over that construction line and this gives me a doubled dimension and a diameter dimension because I'm going to be turning the shape into a revolve. So I'm going to drop this line over here and type in 75 and that gives me the max OD for this part. Now I can do the same thing here on this lower point so I could go from this point here to that construction line cross over cross over that construction line and then click and I can drop in a dimension of 55 and enter and then what i can do is i can create a dimension that goes from this line here down to the top plane it's kind of cool in on shape you can dimension directly to the plane so down to that top plane that's going to be a dimension of three millimeters i'm going to create a dimension that goes from this line to this angled line here and that's going to be a dimension of 45 degrees and I'm going to create a dimension that goes from this line here up to this line here. That's going to be a dimension of four millimeters and a dimension from this line here to this line here. That's going to be a dimension of three millimeters. So that gets most of the dimensions from that cross section. The only dimension left is going to be a dimension here from the base up to here. I'm going to pick the arc itself and that gives me a dimension to that upper point of tangency. And that dimension is going to be 90 millimeters. So if you're following along as a tutorial, this is what your first sketch should look like. The, the one dimension that may be a little bit different is this 45, maybe you dimension that from a different location, but everything else should look just like what we're seeing here on screen. And that should set you up nicely to jump into a revolve command. So we go up here and on shape, we click on this revolve command here. And once we choose the revolve command, all the information from the sketch should be selected cleanly. It's a nice clean sketch. There's no overlapping geometry. So you don't have to do anything tricky there. I'm going to come down here to where it says revolve axis and I'll just pick that construction line that I created earlier. And look at that. I love seeing that preview. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty much like what I'm seeing on the print aside from those six millimeter fillets. So I'm going to hit the green check mark. And there we go. That's our first feature. And now for our second and final feature, we can press the S key. We can begin the fillet command. And then we can say we want this fillet to have a radius of six millimeters and we'll pick this outside lower edge and we will pick this inside lower edge. The inside one might be a little bit tricky to, to select because the outside one's selected, but you can get it if you just kind of zoom in a bit. And so there we go. That's a nice preview and we hit the green check mark and look at that. That looks a lot like what we're seeing on the drawing. I like that. So now all we need to do is just maybe change the color of this part. I always like to change the colors of my parts to match the customer color. So I'll say edit appearance, and then I'll change this to a gray color to kind of match what the customer asked for. That was down here on the name of the part down here, right mouse button, edit appearance. And now once again, I'm going to right mouse button down there and I'm going to say assign material. And the material that we're going to assign here is going to come from the Two Tall Toby custom materials library. That way, when we go in and we assign that plain carbon steel, we'll be using the correct material density. I've programmed in my own custom material density here to match the title block. So we hit the green check mark. And now we can look down here. It's kind of behind where the clock is. Down here, we've got this button for material ma or for part mass properties. So we click that mass properties. We choose this body here and the mass is coming up as 627.9. The question is asking, what is the mass in XXX? So I'm just going to type in 628. So 628, or I, I probably could do 627.9. Let's see what happens. 627.9 there for that mass and enter. And yes, we see that purple box shows up. We can see here it says, congratulations, this answer is correct. It always feels good to get that. I always feel really good when I get that. So we're going to say submit. We're going to get one point on the community scoreboard. So submit and look at that. We did it.
And so now 49 people have completed this model. Very nice, very nice. And so what's kind of cool is once you finish these challenges, you can scroll down to the bottom here and you can see some, some metrics. So it looks like the average time for this model was four minutes and 42 seconds. Wow, you guys are fast. And my time for this model is seven minutes and 38 seconds. And the fastest time is here from Rich Penn, one minute and 28 seconds. Wow, Rich, nice job, very nice job. And so what we could uh, what we could do here is we could click try again and maybe try and get our time down here below the average time or maybe even see if we can get fast enough to beat Rich Penn. But it's nice to be able to try again because you can kind of go through and work on your workflows over and over and over again. But that's going to do it for today's on cheap tutorial. Let me know down in the comments if you learned anything, if you learned about that double dimension, that diameter dimension and the revolve command, or if you learned about that line arc line shortcut, or if you learned anything else from today's video, let me know down in the comments. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and of course, be sure to come back and join us for some more Too Tall Toby tutorial videos.